In this six minute video, I'm going to show you how to use the editor. The editor is where you customize your postcards, door hangers, brochures, and other marketing materials. If you've used any type of word processor or a graphic design program in the past, you'll find this very easy. If you haven't, don't worry because you'll find this editor very intuitive and easy to use. So let's start here with the property photo. Just double click anywhere in this area and that will bring up the image library. Just click on whichever photo you want to use. The website will automatically size it and position it in the right place. If you'd like to change this photo, just double click once again and then you can select a different photo. For more information on the image library and how to upload new photos, see our how to use the image library video. Now let's look at changing some text. Clearly we need to change this area here to the address of your listed property. To start editing this text, put your mouse over the text and then double click. Now with your cursor flashing on this line, we can simply use the backspace key to get rid of this text and the delete key to get rid of this and start typing our new property address. You can use the same process to edit any text on this postcard. If you want to edit this paragraph, just put your mouse somewhere over the paragraph and double click. If we want to add a sentence at the very beginning of this paragraph, we just move our cursor up to the beginning, like so, and start typing. Now it is possible that you might type too much text to fit inside of this box. Let me show you what will happen. Now I've typed too much text and the box has turned red. You'll also see over here on the left, we now have a red information button. If you click on that button, it's going to tell you what the problem is. So this tells you basically there's too much text here. So we have three options to fix this. We can delete some text, we can make the text smaller, or we can try to increase the size of the box that the text is located in. So let's try all three. The easiest solution would be to just delete some text like this. And by deleting that one sentence, we now have enough room. But let's say we really want that sentence. So let's try the second option and we'll make this text smaller. To do that, we'll double click inside this text box to get the cursor there. Now that our cursor is here, on your keyboard, you're going to press the combination of the control button and A and that will highlight all of the text automatically. Now let's look up here at the top of your page. This is the font name and next to that is the font size. Click this down arrow. Now you see a number of sizes that you can set the text to. Let's click on 9 and see if that works. Yep, that worked perfect. Now the red box is gone and the text fits fine. But let's say we don't want to make the text smaller. We want to keep it the same size. Now we can try the third option, which is to make this box bigger. To do that, bring your mouse into this area and you'll see a round button appear. Now with your mouse, grab onto that round button and drag it down. Now we have plenty of room for this text, but it's not quite centered up and down, and that's an easy fix. We're gonna move our mouse over here to somewhere in the middle of the paragraph. Just click and hold on the left mouse button and then drag the whole paragraph up a little bit. Now we fit in all the text that you wanted and it looks great. This text here appears automatically based on the information that you entered into your profile. If you need to change any of this information for just this postcard, you can double click on any of these lines and make a change. If you have a change that you want to apply for everything that you do moving forward, you should make that change inside your profile. And now let's look at these buttons across the top. This is the home button. If you click this button, it'll take you back to the prospectsplus.com homepage. But if you do that, you'll lose whatever you're working on here. So only choose that if you want to stop editing the piece you're working on and choose a different one. This next button is the save button. And this allows you to save a postcard, brochure, flyer, etc. that you're working on to finish it up at a later time and this will save it under the My Saved Orders section of your account. These next four buttons apply to text on your marketing piece. You can make it bold, italics, underlined, or with a strike through by using these buttons. These next two are for the font and size of the font. 
You can change any of the text on your marketing pieces to a different font or to a different size by using these buttons. This next button is to choose the text color. You may want to change the text color to bring some emphasis to it. This button allows you to add special characters to your marketing piece. If you want to insert one of these special characters, have your cursor located where you want the character to appear and then click on the character. This next button is for the alignment of your text. You can choose left, centered, right, or justified. These next 10 buttons are for advanced editing. We have a video covering all of the advanced editing techniques if you'd like more information on these buttons. These two buttons allow you to zoom in or out the marketing piece that you are working on. And finally, the trash can icon will delete whatever you have currently selected on your marketing piece. And that's a quick overview on the editor. If you have any other questions, please contact us at 866-405-3638 or email us support at prospectsplus.com.